Hello there. Welcome to a special interview with members of Buari Old Girls Association, Boga, 1999 set. My name is Winifred Ibebo, and I have been in the studio. Our uh, father, 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 the president of Boga, 1999 set. And on my right, I also have Ure Moru, who's a member of Boga, 1999 set. It's a pleasure to have you with me in the studio. Pleasure to me. Yes, without this much time, President, tell us what is the history of Boga in 1996? Okay, actually, Boga basically is just a group group of sisters um, that graduated from FGGC Boria Abuja and decided to come together to form an association to move the community society forward. We do all sorts of things. Actually, we start back um, from 2016. We, we started with um, two people, three, four, before you know it, we're getting into our hundreds, thousands. Mm -hmm. We thank God for that. We basically um, impact on our alma mater. We um, help the government. We complement what the government is doing. Um, we go to the school, we visit, and then we now listen to their challenges, and then we help them um, the small way we can. We maybe um, lights, um, water, um, security, drugs, mm -hmm. can be anything. And then once in a while, we look um, into the society, and then we go to the physically challenged, you know, the poor people. We help with what we can in form of um, money, in form of um, things they need. Like I'm just um, on Saturday, we were at the School of Blind with Taco. We took some things, food stuff, um, typewriters, and we took it to the children, and they were very happy about it. So that's basically what um, Boga is all about. Wow. Yes. So Boga always is uh, is helping the needy in the society, and yes. also to address uh, it's also addressing some challenges. You know, where it's needed. Thank you so much. Now I understand that you have an event coming up this Sunday. Why? You always have this dinner. You understand you had it last two years ago and now you're having this one. What's the dinner about? Okay. What is the essence of it? Okay. I'm a Boga 99 set. I'm the coordinator of 99 sets. Yes. Boga is the bigger body of um, the old girls association. Um, I am the coordinator of 99 set. So the 99 set came about um, like um, two years um, four years back. Mm. So after every two years, we have like um, change a of change of schools. Yes. So I came um, to represent the set um, last two years, and this is my final um, tenure. This is my last week as the coordinator. Mm. So mm. yes. So that's why we're having the dinner. The dinner is, dinner yes. The dinner, dinner is basically yes to have fun, to see our sisters to wish each other well, and then to hand over elections and then have new experts. Okay. Yes, and then we're going to appreciate our sponsors because we have sponsors that have helped us with um, solar lights. Um, leadership is one of our sponsors, wow. actually, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you. Thank now, you as we hand over the button to a new set of experts, what would you say have been your achievements these two years while you're in office? Okay, these two years, um, for the first year, nothing has really been done because of the challenges we had with the COVID. COVID yes. yes. So what we did um, last year was that um, we reached out to some of our sisters. They were facing challenges. You know, we gave them palliatives in form of money. Mm -hmm. We gave like um, twenty sisters or thereabouts money to help in one or two things. Mm -hmm. Yes, we and then the, yes, hardship. yes, the hardship. And then we visited the school um, two or three times, you know, to um, give gifts of um, most improved students in um, the school, you know, best students in the school, and all that. We did that as a, a boga as a whole. Yes, but each set will not contribute to what it can for that course. Um, thank yes. you so much. Now, let me go back to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So what's in your in 
your view? Why, how has this uh, association benefited society since it was formed? Okay, so in our view, yes, the association yes, yes. has benefited the society a lot. Um, basically, as we said, initially the association was created based on giving back to our school. Um, so we've done that over the years, but now, as my president mentioned, we've done that over the years, giving back to the school, encouraging the students who outperformed and all that. But now we're looking at going back even into the society as we did recently mm -hmm. by the School of the Blind, like this is the School of the Blind. But for next year, we're looking at also considering other projects and other places to visit. This will be our going forward events. So uh, now the issue of uh, the gay child in the federal government there's a college of which the association is uh, one of another many organizations also doing so much in uh, this aspect of gay child. So the gay child in the country today in Nigeria is exposed to all kinds of things. So what is your advice? What can be done? Like this security issues now is affecting everywhere. All across the country, the gay child is always affected. It's called that most gay child or gay children basically in, in Nigeria today, most of them are not going to schools as a result of security issues, as a result of uh, economic uh, hardship. So, what is your advice? What do you think can be done about it? Okay, for me, I have um, a couple of personal opinions when it comes to this mm -hmm. um, because I hear of situations where the girl child, they say, okay, the girl doesn't have to go to school because she'll end up getting married to another person. Mm -hmm. um, then the parents keep out, they look at the funds and say, okay, um, this fund cannot take care of all my children. So the girl children should stay back. Their job should be to cater with their mother for the home. So I feel that first and foremost, the government should look into situations like this. Do they want to further to subsidizing school generally school fees, do they want to make a different kind of subsidy for the girl child where parents that funding is an excuse not to send the girl child to school can apply and get involved or get their children to go to school through that platform where they are paying close to zero or nothing. So that will encourage girl children in different parts of the state to go to school. And also, I think from where I stand yeah even the boy child should be for days where they have girl child day the, the, the boy children should also be taught about why the girl child is being celebrated because at the end of the day in all of this our boy children will grow up to be men one day so if we teach them that oh this is why the girls are being celebrated and that they should learn to celebrate women we have men in our society who celebrate women mm -hmm. this will create this will help us close that gap in mm -hmm. future that might not be something for now but in future the men that are boys will learn to appreciate mm -hmm. the women around them more they will learn to appreciate the children the government from the governments that might be boys now will learn the value of the girl child in the society and and go on to appreciate them and there are many points, but they don't all call, come to mind. But I think these are a few a few points of how, yes, we can. Thank you so much, uh, Amisa, for that. And uh, let's have the last question before we go. And uh, it's for both. Today. Now, as your association, you are doing so much to impact not just the school you graduated from, not just your alma mater this time. You are going on to impact the society in general. So, what is your call on other associations? Okay, I would want to say that um, we shouldn't give up. It's not an easy thing, because uh, I know that the Boga national president actually really put in her best. She tried. Sometimes she'll be the only, she'll call for a meeting and she'll be the only one at the meeting. You know, so you have to put in your all, you have to put in your best, you have to put in your energy, your passion. You know, when you put it in there, you will see the result, it will yield a result. So I want to tell them that they should strive and try and not give up to put the little they can to have a great impact on the society. Yes. Yeah, knowing that the government cannot do it all alone. Yes. Yes. So it's amazing. Okay, so I would like to tell them not to be discouraged. 
they should they should learn patience because sometimes when you are when you are coming up with an association you can get irritable by comments and all that but they should learn patience and they should always have at the back of their minds the reason why the association is being formed let the goal of the event be the driving force and be the target all the time no matter the situation thank you Thank you so much. So that is where we call it today on this special interview with members of Waripo Guest Association, Boga 1999 set. And I've been talking with the president of Boga 99 set, Mrs. is Hawa Fawu. Fawu, it's been a pleasure having you on the program. Pleasure is mine. And uh, also we're talking with Olo Imuze. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye. Love you.